fighting out of the blue corner, weighing 154 pounds and wearing red trimmed with white. He brings an outstanding professional record into the ring of 68 victories, 58 by knockout with only two defeats. From Navajoa, Mexico, here is the challenger, Yori Boy Campos. <laughs> Fighting out of the red corner, wearing gold trimmed with black, and weighing in at 153 and one half pounds. This 1992 USA Olympic team member now has a perfect professional record of 28 victories without a loss. 20 by KO. Ladies and gentlemen, from Houston, Texas, presenting the undefeated IBF Junior Middleweight Champion of the World, Raul El Diamante Marquez. Gentlemen, gentlemen, good evening. You were giving your instructions in the back. Are there any questions? I caution you again, gentlemen, protect yourself at all times. Good luck and may the best man win. Touch gloves. Good Have a nice fight, Jenna. Win a squirt there, I'm out there. I'm unbeaten. I roomed with him at the Olympics. How come everybody doesn't look right hands? Right now, Raul, Dom, keep it cold and work it between rounds. Try to prevent swelling. And you saw, keep, keep him on the outside, landing the better shots and accompanying between the two fighters in this round. And as the distance shortens right now. Yeah, I think it's to a disadvantage for Marquette going forward, landing a shot here and there. He's done. He's not let himself get trapped against the ropes, but I think I see some red swelling already above the right eye of Raul Marquez. Never moves his head afterwards. You do that, Jeff, move your head. He's certainly not immune to cut it. <laughs> Hard left hook to the body by Campus. Hard left hand up. Shouldn't open that quick. Yeah, but I already might see a drop of blood. I could hear of blood in the corner of the eye already. Well, we'll see between rounds what's going on with the right eye of Raul Marquez, but in the... It's up a lot quicker than the punches. Good point. Uh, it, it just appears to be red on the closer inch. Not to hold Marquez behind the neck, and also warning Marquez for a low... Is so that he can maintain distance between himself... Good body shot by Marquez. From the angle he was at. So Marquez is finding, for some reason, he's going low. I'm not sure what it is. It's not his... It's profile. A couple of crisp combinations from campus as they came back together. And now it appears there's either a cut or an abrasion under the right eye of Marquez. You saw them working over the right eye between rounds. A lot of these things are happening to Marquez because he's not finishing up the shot. He goes one and wait. You're not going to back off Yori Boy Campus with one shot. No, you go with a combination, you get a quick knockdown. Yeah, but he's landed some heavy shots on campus here. Somebody has dropped their mouthpiece. I'm not sure which fight. And now the blood is coming from the right eye of Marquez. Well, we told you about the widespread suspicion that Mark. <laughs> Referee James Condon doing a good job trying to control these two warriors. Blood in both eyes already. For Raul Marquez and the pressure mounts against him. It's going to be awfully hard for him to fight through 12 rounds if his eyes continue to swell and cut at this rate. Time! Throwing combinations and getting out of the world. He knows better than anyone. Keep your distance, win this thing. On. Gold medalist on that team was Oscar De La Hoya. Up. Things can only get better. Give his, do his job and the fighter boxes. Yeah. Target. He doesn't want an opponent to move side to side. Now he grabs. Good right jab by Marquez. Now he's. Campus beginning to find a couple of opportunities to get Marquez near the ropes. Marquez needs more head movement, more ducking and slipping, more of that. He needs to fire the jab while he moves. And use your footwork. Don't reach in for anything. If it's not there by the. Just. Arm reach, you know, don't snap. reach in. Corner should tell him now, box. We like boxing, the crowd loves boxing, especially when you cut, they expect you to box the situation. And it's not just the good 69 are power shots, and many of them targeting those eyes. Reach. Marquez again makes the mistakes of reaching in for his shots, and he should be keep everything on the outside. And he's standing still, not using his feet enough yet, Let George. Go. Let go. Whenever he rattles. 
southpaw. This guy's doing it the whole fight. He circles into the left hand to Marquez, and Marquez nails him with that left hand. For God's sake, tell him to go to the left. Trading shots in the middle of the ring. Campus got one in that was close to below the belt. You start, the corner is not able to work on both eyes because you have a cut on one side. Marquez's game should be hit and move. Right now, he's hitting and getting hit. And Yuri Boy has been affected by going to the body at this point. Marquez finding out that Yuri Boy's chin is a little stronger here tonight than it was against fighters like Jose Luis Lopez and Felix Trinidad, both of whom were able to knock him flat. Get off his neck! The thing about Marquez, he's never been in with this kind of body puncher in Yuri Boy. And Yuri Boy, go to the body, stay to the body, come up only back to the ropes, only a couple of feet from it. Dots 57%, obviously, as it gets harder. Disappointment that you it wasn't supposed to happen. It's a lot worse than that. Four rounds on one judge's scorecard, and three of four on another judge's scorecard. Interesting, the, the, interestingly, his father and trainer, Arturo Marquez, was telling him to get closer to campus. I don't know. I'd want him to move away and use his feet more. I don't think he fights well but moving backward. That's not who he is. Not a sharp round for Raul Get Marquette. Then the blood that's coming from it. It's preventing good visuals. Right. You can't go. see as well. Go, it's his lead eye. You don't want them to over show it as far as letting people emphasize it by showing it to the audience. Well, this is what his father wants. He wants him to get inside and try to beat Yori Boy to the punch in there. The campus takes... Keep him up! Marquez is going back to the one shot at a time. That's just, it's not going to work with Yuri Boy. Well, this is war. They're gonna, they're, 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 the fight may be decided right here. Marquez is saying, okay, let's, we've had an even first half of the fight. Now let's see who's better right here. And Marquez lands some short right hands and a left hand in there and backs Campus up with some of his most solid shots since the first and second round. Let him go. And this illustrates your point, Larry, about this is what kind of fighter he is. And if he's able to make Yuri Boy back away from this and start boxing, I'm telling you it's all about hero tonight. Well, yeah, you'll, you'll never downgrade Raul Marquez for his courage. Three good uppercuts in a row from Campos. He's not made Campos back up, and that's what you want him to do. Turn him loose. If you're going to stand toe-to-toe. -to -toe. This is strength, conditioning, will. Right here. Power against power. Raul Marquez against Yori Boy Campos. And Campos finishing the exchanges now. He is relentless. You see, it was Marquez who backed up. Yep, this is what Yuri Boy wants. Get off his neck. Marquez badly troubled now. Blood flowing from above his right eye. No way he can see out of that eye. He can feel the target when it gets close. It's going to be awfully hard for him to pinpoint it. Bad business. 70, yep. step in, step, uh, 70 stitches on September 13. You just can't do it. Now that's the answer right there. You can't do it. It's a tough guy like that. That's yep. a heck of an assignment. And Campus pounding Marquez around the ring as the round comes to a close. Let me see. Let me see. Sit. Roll. Okay. Hold, hold up. The doctor will have it stopped by the eighth round. We are in the eighth round. At what point, George? Does it become the responsibility of Marquez's corner not to allow their fighter to be damaged anymore? Well, you have your father in the corner, and you see your fighter's getting the worst of it. He's got an excellent career. This is the time you save face by saying no. And the fighter can always argue you shouldn't have done it. Well, Marquez is giving everything he's got here. He's trying to do a, a gaddy here. You don't want him knocked down and counted out because he's got still got an excellent career. But he's a champion, and if he wants to give it this one round to try to to try to get back into it, you got to let him go. It's going to be abundantly clear to every ringside observer, every expert here, that he was unwarrantedly jeopardized by bad business here tonight. But he's trying to pull it out with courage. Hard left hand, hard right hand before it. 
by Raul Marquez. Crowd starts to get behind him, hoping for a miracle. Because his vision is so messed up now, it's hard to get a good shot. And you saw Campus land that Thunderbolt left. Marquez in trouble again. If what the doctor said goes, he's got only a minute and a half left to fight. This is when you start thinking about all of those training exercises, all of those training camps. Marquez is thinking, hey, what it has been for a fight. Bear down and fight back. If you can't do anything else, you can always fight. The referee is watching Marquez very closely, looking for the slightest opportunity to step in and stop the fight. Well, I'm not sure they'll be able to bargain for one more round. So if Raul has anything left, he'd be well advised to spend it right here. Yeah, I said he's trying to pull off a Gaddy. The difference is Arturo Gaddy has a knockout punch, and Marquez doesn't. Not at least not against the fighter. Thunderous right, right hand, and that'll stop it. An excellent stoppage. No reason for him to take another punch like that. That was a proper death knell for this fight. Yuri Boy Campus gets a win against a fighter who shouldn't have been in the ring against him. We've had some good referees tonight. They stepped in and watched things clearly. Great that was, referees. Yeah, that was exactly the moment. Yeah. But I will say this. I don't know that he can beat Campus, I or not. I don't know that that was the difference. Campus fought very well. We've seen him do this before. He was only beaten by two very outstanding fighters in Lopez and Trinidad. He came up against a fighter tonight who's a well-conditioned, a highly motivated fighter who was perhaps an overachiever in a way. Didn't have the natural gifts of Lopez or Trinidad. I don't know, Larry, you give me six months, Marquez not thinking about his eyes, I can see a different outcome. It could happen. You may be right, and he'll get that six months now. <laughs> <laughs> it's the eyes. The eyes were the big problem, and he just could not see. A lot of times he turned away even in, when the referee stopped it, he just couldn't see. 70 stitches, less than three months. It was folly. Final punch stat number. The swelling more than anything. 210 out of 614 for the very brave Raul Marquez. 220 out of the 468 thrown. Almost all power punches for Yori Boy Campus, whose determination translated to a well-deserved victory. Let's go to Michael Buffer for the final decision. Ladies and gentlemen, before we give the official time, how about a round of applause for these two fighters for eight rounds of action in the junior middleweight division. From Caesars Atlantic City, referee James Condon has to call a halt to the bout. The official time, two minutes, 29 seconds of round number eight. The winner by knockout victory and new Junior middleweight champion of the world, Yori Boy Campbell.